हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर ओडिशा पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन ओडिशा एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस प्रीलिम 2011 मैकेनिकल पेपर आई विल सॉल्व दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज इन मेथड ऑफ सेक्शन द सेक्शन मस्ट पास थ्रू नॉट मोर देन मेंबर्स इट्स आंसर इज थ्री When the coefficient of restriction is zero, the bodies are coefficient of restriction e. It's v two minus v one divided by u one minus u two. U one u two is the two bodies velocities, initial velocities before impact, and v one and v two bodies velocity after the impact. E the coefficient of restriction. In this case, e equal to zero. E equal to zero. This is for perfectly inelastic body. Perfectly inelastic. So here, this is the answer. For perfectly elastic, E equal to one. In this case, E equal to one. Actually, E equal to zero for perfectly inelastic, and E is in between zero to one. It's for elastic bodies, but here official answer is this one. A block weighing nine eighty one newton is resting on a horizontal surface. The coefficient of friction between the block and the horizontal surface is zero point two. A vertical cable attached to the block provides partial support, as shown. A man can pull the horizontal. A man can pull horizontally with a force of 100 newton. What will be the tension T in the cable if the man is just able to move the block to the right? So, cable will move to the right. So, frictional force it will act in opposite direction. Frictional force. This is frictional force. This is mu into n. N is normal reaction. In this direction, vertical direction, downward direction, W weight will act, and upward direction N will act. So, for equilibrium of vertical forces, F Y equal to zero. So T plus N equal to W. W given W equal to nine eighty one newton. mu is 0.2 coefficient of friction then force f equal to this is force f 100 newton it's acting towards right so this is equation 1 then from horizontal forces summation of all horizontal forces it should be zero for equilibrium so just able to move so f is right right towards right we will take positive f minus frictional force it's left side it's zero f value is 100 minus mu is 0.2 into n Equal to zero. So from here we will get n value zero point two n equal to hundred. So n equal to hundred divided by two into ten. We will get five hundred newton. This is the value of n. So put this value in equation one. T plus five hundred equal to W is Nine eighty one. So T value is T equal to nine eighty one minus five hundred four eighty one newton. See the answer. Which one of the following is a higher pair? So turning pair no, screw pair also no, sliding pair also no. Belt and pulley. This is the example of higher pair because one side is tight and one side is loose. So, it's an example of higher pair. Gear drive also higher pair. For higher pair, there should be point contact. 
पॉइंट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट और लाइन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट द गोपलर्स क्राइटेरियन फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम एफ ऑफ ए प्लानर मैकेनिज्म विथ एन नंबर ऑफ लिंक्स एंड जे नंबर ऑफ बाइनरी जॉइंट्स इज गिवन बाय एफ इक्वल टू थ्री एन माइनस टू जे सो फ्रॉम ऑप्शन बी इज द आंसर ओल्ड हम्स कपलिंग एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल ट्रैमल्स ओल्ड हम कपलिंग्स एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल ट्रैमल्स आर द इनवर्सन ऑफ डबल स्लाइडर क्रांच चेन तो फ्रॉम ऑप्शन डबल स्लाइडर क्रांच चेन डी इज द आंसर सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डबल स्लाइडर क्रांच चेन टू एंड फोर दीज आर टू स्लाइडर्स थ्री इज कनेक्टिंग रॉड वन इज फ्रेम सो इन फास्ट इनवर्सन फिक्स लिंक वन और फिक्स दिस फ्रेम इफ वी फिक्स दिस फ्रेम यू विल गेट इक्वेशन ऑफ एलिप्स एंड इक्वेशन ऑफ सर्कल यू विल गेट इफ यू टेक द पॉइंट पॉइंट एट द सेंटर ऑफ द कनेक्टिंग रोड देन दिस ऑल्सो वी कैन कॉल इलेक्ट्रिकल ट्रैमेल सो दिस थिंग्स ऑल्सो वी हैव टू रिमेम्बर वी हैव टू फिक्स द लिंक वन then for second inversion we have to fix link 2 or link 4 either this connecting rod we have to fix sorry this slider or this slider any one we can fix 2 or 4 we will get scotch yoke mechanism simple harmonic motion also we will get this is also called as sine or cosine generator these things are also very very important in all exams and they are asking even if gate also they are asking so here you here you have to fix any of the slider 2 or 4 for third inversion fixed link is link 3 this connecting rod you, you have to fix and here you will get old ham coupling this is the example of old ham coupling so in this question they asked old ham coupling old ham coupling is third inversion of double slider crank chain and elliptical trammel this is first inversion first inversion so this is example of double slider crank chain a mechanism has seven links with all binary pair except one which is ternary pair the number of instantaneous centers of this mechanism are how much so first ternary pair we will convert it to binary pair one ternary pair is equivalent to it's equivalent to two binary pair so uh, except one link so six link with binary pair plus one ternary pair it consists of two links so total number of links is 8 so n equal to 8 instantaneous center i equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 8 into 8 minus 1 it's 7 by 2 28 see their answer just you have to convert this one ternary pair into binary pair the direction of coriolis component of oscillation 2 omega v of the slider a with respect to the coincident point b is shown in the figure so options are given which is correct we have to calculate so from option 1 v is upward omega is counter clockwise so it's left word this is coriolis action 2 omega v one is correct then b is downward in second option b is downward omega is anti clockwise so it should be right word 2 omega v so 2 is not correct and in third case b is upwards omega is clockwise so it should be here so this is correct this is coriolis oscillation acr or ac 3 is correct then 4 b is downwards 
omega is clockwise so this should be this direction 2 omega v correlious acceleration so 4 is not correct so from options 1 and 3 c is our answer a negative degree of freedom for a mechanism degree of freedom f equal to 3 into n minus 1 minus 2j f is negative f is negative so from option statically indeterminate structure this is the answer for constrained motion f should be 1 then it will be constrained motion which of the following statements is correct fly will reduce speed speed fluctuation this is correct during a cycle for a constant load but flywheel does not control the mean speed of the engine if the load changes so this is the answer flywheel reduces speed fluctuation during a cycle for constant load but flywheel does not control the mean speed of engine reduces what here wrong is what flywheel does control it does not control so B not possible. Governor control speed fluctuation no. C also wrong. Governor control speed fluctuation. This is also wrong. This question was already solved in my ISRO theory of machine videos that you can check. You have to consider the number of links, then you have to solve this question degree of freedom you have to solve f equal to this formula you have to use n minus 1 minus 2j 2j or 2p binary pairs you have to check n is number of links so answer you will get mechanism with one degree of freedom In Hartnell governor, if the stiffness of spring is increased, the governor will. So, Hartnell governor formula is stiffness formula k equal to 2 into a by b, its square f2 minus f1 divided by r2 minus r1. This is the formula. And answer is becomes less sensitive. Question is, if the ball masses of a governor have same equilibrium speed for all radius of rotation, it is said to be isochronous governor. And for isochronous governor, n is constant. So, n2 minus n1 equal to 0. But sensitivity is for no load condition. Its mean speed, this is also important. So many times they ask mean speed divided by range speed. Its mean speed is n, this is n1 plus n2 divided by 2, n divided by range speed is n2 minus n1, this is 0 for isochronous governor. So n by 0 you will get infinity for isochronous governor sensitivity is infinity s is sensitiveness this is condition for no load this is also very very important for isochronous governor sensitiveness s equal to infinity its mean speed by range speed the transfer function is the operational relationship of the output and the options are command response input error operational relationship between relationship of the output and the command a is the answer hammer blow in locomotive results in hammer blow tendency to lift the wheels from rail b is the answer the resultant unbalanced force is minimum in reciprocating engines when the part of the reciprocating mass balance by rotating masses is B is the answer 1 by 2. If the if the principal stresses in a plane stress problem are sigma 1 equal to 100 MPa, sigma 2 equal to 
फोर्टी एम पी द मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ द मैक्सिमम सीयर स्ट्रेस विल बी हाउ मच विल ड्रॉ द मोर सर्कल एंड मैक्सिमम सीयर स्ट्रेस इज द रेडियस ऑफ द मोर सर्कल सो ऑल आर पॉजिटिव वैल्यू सिग्मा एक्सिस सीयर स्ट्रेस एक्सिस टाओ एक्सिस तो सिग्मा वन इज हंड्रेड सिग्मा टू इज फोर्टी we have to find out the center center is middle of 10 and 100 total is 60 so by here this is 30 distance it will come at 70 so radius is 30 mp if we draw the circle this is the value of radius it's 30 mpa this is maximum value of shear stress c is the answer a simple quick return mechanism is shown in the figure the forward to return ratio of quick return mechanism is 2 is to 1 if the radius of crank is o to a is 125 mm then the distance between the crank center to the lever center point o to o4 should be how much so this distance we have to calculate o2 to to o4 so this is o2 this is o4 see then draw the perpendicular here this is perpendicular this is also perpendicular let this angle is beta and this side angle is alpha so this angle is beta by 2 and this angle is 90 minus beta by 2 so here take this point as a point data given or alpha by beta is 2 into 1 alpha by beta 2 into 1 and crank radius o to a o to a it's 125 mm o to o for we have to calculate so from this triangle we have to draw first we will find out the beta value from this relation so total angle is 360 degree alpha plus beta equal to 360 degree so alpha equal to 2 beta 2 beta plus beta equal to 360 degree so beta equal to 120 degree and beta by 2 this small angle this is beta by 2 this angle we will get 60 degree and this angle 90 minus 60, you will get 30 degree. Let this angle is theta. Theta, you will get 30 degree. So from this triangle, A O to O four sine theta equal to A O two divided by O to O four, O to O four value we have to calculate. O to O four equal to A O two divided by sine theta. A O two is one twenty five mm divided by sine theta is one by two, so one twenty five into two you will get two fifty unit is mm. D is the answer. Thank you friends thank you for watching my video thank you